So it's been over two months since I talked about Inga Star and Mimi Cliffy, a TikTok sister duo based in Russia. They've gone viral over the recent years for one reason and one reason only, because millions of people think that they're kidnapped. And when I say people, I mean kids. The same kids who believe unicorns are real have gone full detective mode on these two girls. You've got kids that are convinced Inga Star is a robot, that the two of them are AI, and I've even seen comments of people thinking that Inka Star isn't actually Inka Star, but actually a man wearing a mask. If I'm being honest, part of the reason why this video took two months to make is because reading these comments, it seriously hurts my brain. It is scary how easily kids on the internet are persuaded and believe in the most ridiculous theories. And this is why we need age restrictions on social media. So for today's video, it's gonna follow the same structure that my other kidnapping conspiracy theory videos have. We're gonna start off by reacting to some wannabe detective videos and then we're gonna transition into what I uncovered about Inca Star and Mimic Cliffy, including some cooking videos of them talking and even their location. Inca Star and Mimic Cliffy need help. Here's some proof. The ears are covering up the bruises. Mimic Cliffy is wearing headphones to cover up the bruises too. If you look closely at the end, you will see that Incaster is trying to say help, help, look. Please help these girls. We cannot do it without you guys' support. Hope y'all enjoyed. Bye. Oh god, how old is this kid? Five? Oh shut up you Mickey Mouse. Damn y'all in the comments are ruthless. Not for real though, because you want to wear big pointy ears as part of a cosplay, it means you're kidnapped. Wait, hold on a second. If pointy ears means you're kidnapped, does that mean Santa Claus is actually a kidnapper? Okay, for y'all trying to graduate from detective school, if you're trying to prove something, then you gotta prove it. Inka and Mimi have worn those elf ears in dozens and dozens of videos. It's just part of their cosplay performance. It's not enough for you to say that there's bruises under those ears you gotta show us those bruises. Countless times on my channel, I've explained the term confirmation bias. Sure, she's wearing headphones, but it doesn't mean she's got bruises under her ears. I mean, she could be wearing headphones to cover up her extremely hairy ears, the snake living in her ear, or she could be hiding nothing at all and is just wearing headphones for style. But the last proof that they show is scary because it goes to show how people's biases interfere with their ability to see what is clearly right in front of them. Incaster is trying to say help, help, look. What? People see what they want to see. It's the same idea as those pictures where you can see either a man or a woman, depending what your mind is thinking of. In the video, she's literally just saying the song, and if she was saying help, then she would have to say the letter P, which requires her to close and open her lips. You can't say P without closing your lips. And what I am done with this one, if I was to give that wannabe detective a letter grade, I would give them a P minus. In Casta. In Casta needs help. Here is the proof. Look at Christina's face. And behind them, I think it's the kidnapper. Boy, if you don't- <laughs> What? Yeah, totally. Because the kidnapper will put themselves on camera for millions of people to see. Bro, that's literally a coat rack with the code on it. Bro, I, I get it. They're kids like I was once a kid. But if they're this dumb, they shouldn't be on social media. Time for the next video. You see her noise is heard. <laughs> Yes, Inca Star's noise is hurt. So for those who don't know, there's something called a nose job. The actual surgery is called rhinoplasty and is a cosmetic procedure to alter and reconstruct the nose. And it can do people wonders. Here's a random picture I found of someone before rhinoplasty and after rhinoplasty. Literally every female celebrity and even a lot of male celebrities have gotten rhinoplasty. A matter of fact, back in May, I got septal rhinoplasty to fix my breathing issues from when I broke my nose as a little kid. I was puffy, bruised, and looked worse than SpongeBob in that one scene, but no, I wasn't punched in the face by some kidnapping man. Now what's even more concerning about the clip that we just looked at is someone in the comments really just said, guys, is it just me or the second video, the audio sounded like it was saying, please help me, help me. I like, bro, I, I'm getting too overworked for what? Reading hundreds and hundreds of just silly comments like that, it hurts your brain, it really does. For real, some of these theories are absolutely ridiculous. The caption in this other video that I found says, I was watching Inga Star and Mimic Cliffy again, and this time I saw something else. And you know what they found while analyzing that video? A pair of sunglasses. Dude, what? Then I guess every single person who wears sunglasses at the beach is a kidnapper. I mean, it's 2023 and the whole canceling era, I guess sunglasses are officially canceled. <laughs> so if you think it couldn't get any dumber than this, well, you're wrong because I found a TikTok and just take a look at this. What's that? It looks like a man's head. 
Her tongue have two colors. If both girls had their hands in the photo, who took their photo? It looks like there are two people. Christina and someone with a mask. No, 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 no. Bro, why the fact that this video got 22,000 likes, it boggles my mind. I mean, this person must have some supervision because all I see is just the black circle. The thing that you see is a ring light. Like the black circle you're probably seeing is, well, the lens. But second of all, what does her tongue have to do with any of this? Her tongue have two colors. Is this what detective school is now teaching y'all? It first started off with analyzing the reflection in people's eyes, but now you're analyzing people's tongues? Like, bro, what? What does a long tongue say about this Guinness World Record holder? Or better yet, maybe Inca Star was actually kidnapped by a frog who captured her with his tongue. All right, so now that we've analyzed a few wannabe detective videos, I think we can safely say that all those people well, they all failed detective school. Elastigirl from The Incredibles must be jealous because these wannabe detectives are reaching with their theories further than she could ever reach with their arms. If you were kidnapped and your face was flooded on social media with hundreds of millions of views each and every single month, then why have no friends, parents, former teachers, you name it, reported them to the police? And not to forget that social media is heavily tracked. Police are easily able to find your IP address. Anyways, with all this being said, for the second half of this video, I want to take a deeper dive into looking at who Inga Star and Mimi Cliffy really are. I did some digging and found them on a Russian video platform called RuTube where they make literal cooking videos. In these videos you can hear them talking and cooking a whole bunch of different food. And their Russian audience actually have a brain because no one in the comments is saying anything about them being kidnapped. Now you might be asking why don't they make these cooking videos on TikTok or YouTube? Well, it's because it's not what blew them up. Y'all are so gullible thinking that they're kidnapped and are making these two girls so much money. And they're clearly playing into it, always using the no sleep filter on TikTok, making it look like they're sleep deprived. So as discussed in my previous video about these two, their Instagram looked a lot different than the TikTok and YouTube videos that they post. Taking a look at Inga Star's feed, she's been at an amusement park, a beach, a castle, and even a concert, which if her kidnapper was to take her there, would be the easiest place to run away. Just imagine Inga Star was at a Taylor Swift concert Good luck finding her. And Mimi Cuffy's feed is the same. She's got pictures at a beach, an amusement park, and even this photo surrounded by hundreds of people. There's videos of her taking pole dancing lessons with other people. There's even a video that contains photos of Mimi Cuffy as a child. If you're going out in public doing what you want and are surrounded by countless people and are posting photos and videos of all of this with your own cell phone, well, then you're not kidnapped. And going back to Inca, she's got a lot of photos of this boy, which according to the comments is Inca's son. He's been to a Lego store, a mall where he played VR games and a go-kart place. Now with what I'm about to show next, it really puts the icing on the cake and it goes to show that either this is the world's dumbest kidnapper or you could, I guess, technically argue the, the most genius kidnapper, but Anyway, well, let's get into it. So on her highlight, she's got one called Artemy, which is the name of the boy. You look at the fourth photo and you can see he got a haircut at some place called Gocha Haircuts. On my phone, I took a look at their profile and you can see that they have their business address listed that's located in St. Petersburg, Russia. And when I saw that city, I'm like, wait, hold up, that's familiar because I remember seeing that city somewhere else. It's because when I was scrolling through her highlights, Inca Star has a video with another content creator with a tag location at a port in St. Petersburg. I was doing some more digging and found this photo that Inca Star posted was taken outside St. Isaac's Cathedral in St. Petersburg, Russia. I also found that this photo was taken outside of Cathedral of Our Lady of Kazan in St. Petersburg, Russia. And you see the water and buildings in the background of this photo. It's also located in St. Petersburg. And here's a picture she posted in Divo Ostrov Amusing Park in St. Petersburg, Russia. Everything, it's all connected. Nearly every photo and video was taken in the city of St. Petersburg in Russia. The point being is that if Inca Star and Mimikliffe really were kidnapped, the kidnapper would be an absolute dummy head to share all these photos and videos where you can easily see where they're located. At this point, if they were really kidnapped or in danger and didn't already try to easily run away, I mean, the police would easily find their location. I did study psychology and criminology, but still, like, that was just four years of university. Like, people, like, you know, actual detectives who are a lot smarter than me, I mean, they would have found them by now if they really were kidnapped. And moving forward, I also found out that Inga Star and Mimic Cliffy are part of a PR company called Faces, who also work with a bunch of other content creators in Russia. Here's a post that they made for Mimic Cliffy, which I translated, and here's a post that they made for Inga Star. If they really were kidnapped, then how are they part of a PR group? And if they were kidnapped, then why have none of these other creators part of the PR group 
contacted the police. Well, shocker, it's because Inglestar and Mimikofi aren't actually kidnapped. I got such a headache making this video because literally no one believes that these two TikTokers are kidnapped other than kids. But I do feel like this video, in addition to the ones I made on Bebop and BB, were necessary to make because this whole kidnap conspiracy theory, it creates a lot of problematic beliefs. These kids are led to believe that only a stranger, a man, is capable of kidnapping and hurting girls when in reality, it can be anyone. This video that Mimikofi posted on TikTok contains some guy, I don't know, could be her boyfriend, a friend, a brother, a cousin. I really don't know, to be honest. In the video, Mimikofi was acting with some other dude, but the comments were flooded with people thinking that this is the kidnapper. Number one, people need to be careful with falsely accusing someone, but number two, it takes away attention from those who are actually capable of doing damage. Just because someone makes lip syncing and emoji dancing videos on TikTok doesn't mean they're kidnapped. And someone who is kidnapped or is in danger likely doesn't have TikTok or even a phone. Inca Star, Mimi Cliffy, even Bebop and BB worrying so much about these people, the whole kidnap conspiracy theory, it takes away attention from those who are actually in danger and in need of help. I've made two videos about Bebop and BB and try to show y'all that it's not some imaginary man that y'all need to be worried about. It's her own mother with the dark past who was exploiting her daughter by faking a kidnapping for money. Now before we wrap up this video, I do have something that I want to show y'all. So for those who don't know, I do have a second channel and about a month ago, I hit 100,000 subscribers on it. As someone who dreamed about becoming a YouTuber and having a platform online, you know, since a child I was, I was probably making videos at eight years old. It finally, like I finally hit 100,000 and well, this block came in and uh, look at that, look at that beat. <coughs> Any water. <laughs> I am I am beyond grateful for this. Like it is, I'm still in disbelief. Like it is right here, but like I can't believe that YouTube sent me this thing. It says presented to Ivan Steph Shorts for passing 100,000 subscribers. It, it is crazy. I, I gotta hang it up on my wall somewhere. I, I really don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. But yes, I really like to thank you guys. Even if you're not subscribed to my second channel, you just being here on my main channel, it, it helps everything. And it truly does mean a lot. Like I love you all, I truly do. Anyway guys, that's officially gonna do it for this video. I try to make this video both entertaining and educational. And if I was successful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.